prison system, their sympathy was with me, but they wanted to keep their job, so they kept kept their mouth closed. And I don't know, uh, you probably know some uh, insiders that are talking more, but I don't know how um, some of them can sleep at night. Well, they told me they're ordered now retroactively. It's not even a law; it's just it's rulings to take uh, seventy plus percent of the money they're now being told to target is is just middle class and blue collar retirees where they've got savings, and then they tell them, "Well, five years ago we really changed the rules, so penalties and interest. We want a million dollars on two hundred thousand dollars you pulled out of your four hundred one k, and and then they're taking their houses." And well, the, and the poor people don't have any money. The, the wealthy people have lots of loopholes, and they can hire high, high-powered attorneys. So who's left? Those of us that are in the middle class. We are the low-hanging fruit on the tree, and that's what they're going for. And those are the people that have the, the, the fewer resources. They don't have the money to go and get an attorney like Andy. Or, like the or they're so trusting in the system, they think, well, I, okay, just take everything I got. Joe, I mean, what do you think of all this evil coming out in the open now? I think it's a direct result, Alex, of uh, hard work. Like people like Sherry, uh, you know, Sherry Jackson gets people's attention, and that's why she became a target. and And she's not going to stop getting people's attention. And now, probably hit the stratosphere, um, you know, having done the sacrifices that she's done. But I think what's happening is that reverberation. It gets through there, like you said. You know, the IRS says, "Don't listen to him," and then everyone listens. They used to say the same. About Erwin Schiff when he was uh, had the show in Las Vegas, um, the more that they try to put a lid on it, the worse it becomes. So I think it's you know we're doing the right thing and we're doing a good thing and we just may not see the results of it. Sure, well, I mean but, take but, Sandusky and the fact that the whole echelon at the top of the school was involved is a bunch of pedophiles. Now it's coming out. I mean, and, and, and good people or average people can't even imagine this, but the people at the top are a bunch of demons. Uh, they are, and unfortunately, you know, the government uh, gets way too much credit, uh, you know, in the jury box and and everywhere in the voting booth. And the fact is, they don't deserve the kind of um, you know credit that they're being given. And and people need to wake up. And you, Alex, you say this all the time. They think you're so stupid. Okay, <laughs> that is so apropos to what the government re really thinks of the American people. And I mean, do you want to be taken for a fool over and over again? I don't, and I'm hoping you won't either. Well, you, they've tried to put you in prison, and, and then they learned from your case to put Sherry in prison and so many others. It's just none of us are safe when innocent men and women can be thrown behind bars, folks, for their free speech like Erwin Schiff. Peter Schiff's father wrote a book, and they said, quit selling it or you're going to jail. And he said, I'm not. They said, all right, basically the rest of your life in prison. I mean, this is the, what people are doing so you can have info. Uh, let's talk to Richard in Texas, and then we'll go to uh, Andy. Richard, you're on the air. Quick question for our guest. Thank you. Thanks for taking my call. Yeah, I want to know how she feels about clawing back the clergy response uh, preachers, reverends, pastors, and getting them to help her in her quest to educate the public about the IRS and the Federal Reserve. I've been calling different shows trying to get them to not, let, not necessarily have a contest, but just calling, having your audience, since it's international, call all the preachers, clergy, and cl literally claw them back. Like we're trying to claw back the tarp money. If we claw back some of those preachers, her job would be a lot easier. Mr. Jones, your job would be a lot easier and all the rest of the GC. No, you're right. I mean, I saw a video some guy sent me saying, do, do, you know, Romans 13, do whatever government says. Well, that's not even what the Bible says. And these churches will not talk about this because most of them aren't churches. They're, they're 501c3 creatures of the IRS. Sherry? That's right. Richard, that's a good question. And before my prison experience, I did a lot of work with has a wonderful book out um, called uh, In Caesar's Grip, and it talks about how churches, unbeknownst to them in the beginning, have uh, gotten incorporated, gotten a 501c3, and, and they're, they're, they're muffled. Yeah, we're going to come right back. back. Stay there, Sherry and, and Joe. We're going to come right back and talk to um, Andy, David, Harry, and Richard. We'll at least get to those calls. There are too many people out there that think that life is but a joke. Let's go ahead and go back to our guest to a little bit of overdrive with him so I can get to everybody here. 
Uh, let's go to Andy in Alabama, then David, Perry, Corey, Jim. You're on the air with Sherry Pill Jackson and Joe Bannister. Both have uh, been politically persecuted for working for the IRS and exposing the fact that it is a fraud. Uh, let's go ahead. Uh, Andy, listening on XM 166, you're on the air. Go ahead. Good afternoon. Thanks, Tria. Um, I'm a healthcare provider. I work for one of the nation's largest uh, healthcare corporations. And like so many other millions of Americans that work for corporations, has payroll departments that automatically take taxes out of your check. You know, there's so many of us that are aware of this and are willing to stand up. But, you know, being subject to these corporate policies who, you know, follow these quote regulations. I mean, I don't see any other way out of it. Yeah, that's the big problem with mega corporations is they now say you have to take all these vaccines or you're fired. You have to take all these drug tests. It's, it's the, the, it, the, these jobs are prisons. Uh, Sherry, Joe. Well, I think Andy is, is uh, actually talking about the withholding. And yeah. You do work for a big corporation, Andy. There's nothing you can do. Uh, I have friends that also work for corporations, and they said, "Well, uh, right now I can't go out on my own." Some people actually may quit, and if they have a skill, they can start their own business and and redirect their resources to. Sure. Well, I knew you were talking about withholding. I'm just saying in general, that's the that's why they want to shut down. Are you guys seeing the phenomenon of shutting down all the mom and pops everywhere? Yes. Yes. And that's a shame because those are the people that we need to be supporting, not the corporations. Uh, most of them aren't even in the country. Anymore. Oh, they're all globalists, the big ones. Yeah. Thank you, Andy. Great points. Joe, any comments on what he said? Uh, just a, a couple things I can think of. If you go to truthattack.org and the pre-induction physical, uh, Tom Cryer, the deceased attorney, he gives people a good uh, way to kind of look at their situation and whether you know they're going to butt up against the IRS or whether they're better off just you know, uh, paying the, the uh, mafia to not break their legs and then supporting... Infowar supporting Sherry Peel Jackson. Yeah, yeah, that's what we do. You've got to, you know, we should do a whole show on Mr. Cryer. What a, he beat the IRS in court. Great guy. Now, now gone on to heaven. Yeah. So there, there is some things people can do. They can still help those that are on the front lines. We've already made our decision. Don't you know necessarily fall on the sword yourselves. Uh, support the front lines with a, a donation now and then. I mean, you well, can still do a lot. Absolutely support you guys. You've been through everything. That's how we can back folks up. David in Oklahoma, quick question before we go to break. Go ahead. Come on, David. Yeah, he's gone. Uh, let's jam in Perry in Arizona. Quick question, Perry. How are you today? Good. Go ahead. I am proud to say I have not paid individual federal or state income taxes, Social Security, Medicare, since the late 80s. And I had two IRS agents visit me in 07. And they were very nice, and uh, we talked in my driveway, and I recorded it, and I answered every question with a question. I never gave them jurisdiction, and I haven't heard a word from them since. Yeah, that's why they're trying to get SWAT teams now to just beat you up so you're scared and pay the private banks. But uh, thank you so much for the call. I know a lot of people that are out of the system for years and just don't do anything anymore. They're They're done. I mean, the, the illegal aliens do that. Why shouldn't we? Um, any comments on that, Sherry? It's ridiculous what they're doing. They're taking the money from us and giving it to them. That's what they're doing. Oh, well, the globalists hate this country. Anything they can do to destroy it, they do it. We're going to come right back and do five more minutes of overdrive with our guest. We're going to talk to Jim. And we're going to talk to Corey and maybe a few others if we have time. Stay with us. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Joe Bannister, former Treasury agent who spoke out against the fact that it's all a fraud at the IRS, who they tried to put in prison, but jury found him not guilty. Sherry Pill Jackson was a former criminal investigator who spoke out and was part of films and full-page ads in the USA Today. They SWAT-teamed her, kangaroo courted her, and sent her to prison for three years. She's got a new book coming out next month. and pre-order it at her site, sherrypilljackson.org. These are amazing people because... We stand on the, the, their shoulders, just like we stand on our forebearers' shoulders. And, and look, freedom is not given. It's taken. It's demanded. We've got to stop being such pushovers. Let's go to Jim in Minnesota. You're on the air with our guest. Go ahead. Yes, we are being blackmailed. Okay, now I would like to ask a question. Are you aware that Social Security numbers are only to be applied for pursuant to order and notice? And then when we apply for them in the absence of order and notice, we've committed a fraud. 
we are impersonating government officers and employees. Social security numbers are only mandated for U.S. government officers and employees. Sure, what they do is they trick you into into taking one and then contractually you go into the banking system who's holding the money in these pensions but really has already spent it. But you get into all the legalese, they don't care. They're enforcing it all at the point of machine guns. Uh, comments from our guest. Yeah, Jim, um, I have two children and when I gave birth, they actually, the hospital sent play surveillance numbers to my house. So I sent them back and until I went to prison, my children did not have slave surveillance numbers. Uh, unfortunately, uh, when I was gone, they got driver's licenses and other things. And, and again, they, they said them. under law, the card used to say it until a few years ago, it says not to be used except for the program. The slave surveillance number is the, is the whole control grid system. I, I wrote them, and they said, well, no, you're right. It, it says it's not to be used for identification, but now so many corporations and banks require it. And we can't tell them that they can't make you give it to them to get services from them. So what the Social Security Administration is saying is, yeah, it's not supposed to be used, but if someone asks you for it, if you want the privilege that they're going to give you, then you have to give it. And they make citizens jump through 100 hoops. The illegals are above the law. Joe Bannister comments on that. Uh, well, basically, you know, with all due respect to his, his comments about the legalities of it, it's the, we have to look at the realities first. Is it force and, majeure? Sure. Force majeure? I mean, it's just they're just doing it. Yeah, de facto versus de jure. And, and basically, uh, you know, the reality is try functioning without one. I'm not saying to not try to do that from that angle, too. But again, it's about educating people. And, and letting them understand that just because someone had went to prison, uh, I guess the entire Christian religion would have to disintegrate because Jesus went to prison, St. Paul went to prison. I mean, pretty much all of them went oh, to no, prison. Oh, no, but now they teach this doctrine of if you're a Christian and the government tells you to murder babies, do it. Just do whatever it says, Romans 13, out of context, when the whole Bible is about fighting that. Thank you for the call, Jim. One last caller. Corey in Texas, quick question. Hey, how's it going? Good. Pleasure to be on the show. Pleasure to be on the show. Uh, real quick, I just, uh, I know we're running out of time, but uh, Ms. Jackson, first of all, I just wanted to say that I'm truly sorry you had to uh, go to jail for three years, prison for three years, and be away from your children for doing what's right. My question is, uh, uh, I'm all about bringing the fight, um, but how, how, how do we uh, make a peaceful resistance against uh, an organization like the IRS? Um, if we don't pay our taxes, we go to jail. Uh, well, that's not true. More and more people are getting out of the system. Uh, you just keep exposing them. You keep exposing they're fraudulent. Uh, I, mean, I mean, it's happening. You discredit the entire system. I appreciate your calls. Listen, I want to thank both of you for coming on the show. Joe Bannister is going to be in studio on Friday here in Austin, Texas with us, where we originate from. And uh, SherryPillJackson.org is where you can get her book. Thank you, Sherry, for all you've done, and, and God bless you. Thank you for having me, Alex. You bet. Thank you, Alex. Take Thank care. you. Thank you, Joe. See you Friday. All right, we're out of time uh, for this transmission. Retransmission starts now, and then InfoWars Nightly News starts tonight. They are putting the screws down. They are trying to censor us, and they're trying to keep us from reaching the public because the truth is powerful. So please support us and spread the word about InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.tv.